everyone, I'm Sophia with Awaken Catholic and this is Awaken the Saint. There are some things in this world that are simple, but a person's character isn't one of them. People typically aren't 100% good or 100% bad. And the saints, while they are remembered for being incredibly virtuous, were still very much human. Our saint for April 12th, St. Teresa of Los Andes, is a perfect example of this. St. Teresa was born as Juana, or Juanita, in the year 1900. She was one of six children in a well-to-do family living in Santiago, Chile. As a child, she enjoyed learning more about the faith from everyone around her, and she was particularly intrigued by the stories of the saints. When she was 14 years old, she read a biography of St. Therese of Lisieux, which inspired her to become a Carmelite nun. However, Juana was far from a perfect child. As a young teen, she was known for her vanity and anger, which sharply contrasted her to devotion to Jesus. She was surprisingly short-fused and easily lost her temper when others wronged her, something that she struggled with for some time. One particular story recounts that her older sister slapped her for being a nuisance, and Juana grabbed her arm, about to retaliate, but stopped herself halfway through and instead kissed her sister on the cheek. Juana's change in temperament began after her first communion, but it was only after reading about St. Therese and setting herself on the path toward religious life that she transformed into the kind and patient woman that she's known for today. Eventually winning the approval of her father, she entered into the Carmel of Los Andes at 18 years old, taking her new name, Teresa of Jesus. She was ecstatic to be part of a convent, and her temper was transformed into a fiery passion for her faith. She began to write letters documenting her thoughts and her understanding of the divine love that had prompted such a strong change in her character. Over 100 of these letters were collected, translated, and preserved in book form. Teresa's writings are considered inspiring, especially to the young, because her life was bound to be cut short. She was diagnosed with typhus soon after entering the convent and informed that she would not live for very long. She was still half a year away from completing the novitiate that would allow her to take her formal vows. But in view of her impending death, she was allowed to profess her vows early. She did so on the 5th of April, 1920, and died just a week later at only 19 years old. After several documented miracles following her death, she was canonized by Pope John Paul II in 1993. The most difficult opponent to battle is oneself, something Teresa was keenly aware of before she became a nun. It's not all that surprising that she was inspired specifically by St. Therese of Lisieux, who once said, you cannot be half a saint. You must be a whole saint or no saint at all. That quote might be a little discouraging to those of us who feel like we have a lot of shortcomings to work through. But overcoming these trials gives us a greater appreciation for the kind of virtue that the saints have demonstrated and continue to demonstrate. St. Teresa of Los Andes, pray for us. Awaken the Saint is made in partnership by Spoke Street Media and Awaken Catholic.